Good morning, Kia ora. Um, bit of a strange day to start a video post, I guess, but we're in strange times. Uh, my name's Laura. Um, I'm the founder at Safe Stack. We normally, on a normal day, we help organisations move really fast and do security stuff. Now, you'll be reading a lot at the moment about working from home and all of these new challenges we're facing, but I want to talk to other founders, people who run small companies just like me, who are looking down some pretty stressful times now, and I want to talk about another risk. Uh, I want to talk about key person risk. Now I'm not talking about this because I have anything to sell you, I have nothing to sell you, nothing at all. I'm sharing because these are really challenging times we're in. And I want to make sure that we, all of us, all these little tiny businesses are prepared. Um, so I want to ask you to do a few things. I'm going to ask you to make some preparations just in case, just in case you have a bad day, just in case you have to go look after a loved one, just in case one day you want to go on holiday. Let's pretend that we're all looking forward to that again one day. Okay, so these are the steps I want you to take to protect you and your little business from key person risk as we go through these, let's face it, fairly surreal and challenging times. The first thing I want you to do is start your own practice. If you haven't started this yet, now's a good time. We're going to try and make sure that our world, our accounts are all locked down and that they are stored sensibly. I want you to get a password manager. If you haven't got one yet, there are lots of options. You can email and you can reach out to SafeStack directly. We will help you choose if you like. Um, we don't care. We have nothing to make from that. But get a password manager and store your details in it. Now, I want you to add two-factor authentication. <laughs> you can hear two is. <laughs> uh, nature doesn't stop, hey? I want you to add two-factor authentication. I want you to make sure that that account is really difficult to compromise. Now, we wrote recently about security for small businesses and we talked about multi-factor. So you can check out that blog post if you like. Um, the idea being you're gonna get a code when you try and log in and that's gonna help keep it even more secure. Now I want you to download your recovery code or the emergency kit for your password manager. This is crucial. You're gonna print it out and make a physical copy and we're gonna put that in a really safe place, like an envelope uh, that we're either gonna lodge with a loved one we really trust in a fireproof safe or even like me with your lawyer. Um, you want this to be accessible just in case somebody needs to get into the accounts in your password manager. And yeah, I think we all know the reasons why that's happening at the moment. The next thing I want you to do is start your company emergency kit. I want you to have a document and I want you to have the following things in it. I want you to have the name of your accountant and their contact details, your lawyer. I want you to have the details of any insurance policies you have for your company. I want you to list down the big financial commitments that you have and the calendar that they operate on. And I want you to list down any other crucial operational details such as your tax number, your company number, so that if somebody has to pick up your company because you're looking after other things right now, that they have everything they need to get going. Now, obviously, hopefully your accountant and your lawyer don't know anyone else in your world, maybe. Um, it's okay, we're gonna get to that now. I want you to reach out to your accountant, your lawyer, those people who are crucial support systems to your organization. And I want you to warn them that you're making a plan. And I want you to introduce them to the person that you're trusting to be your backup, to be your deputy. So you're not giving them permission to do everything in your world, but you are giving them permission to at least make basic decisions in case of strange times continuing for a long time and you're unable to make them yourself. Work with your lawyers and your accountants. It's in their interest to make sure this is working properly too. Next, I want you to start capturing all of the key accounts in your company. So all of those SaaS tools that you use, your Trellos and your Dropboxes and your Google Drives, all the admin accounts of those. So that's traditionally the account that you do your billing from. So the one that's got your credit card details on. I want you to store those in your password manager and I want you to clean house. Make sure that you have all of your accounts there, that they've got good passwords um, so that if somebody has to change a setting or they have to give access to an account while you're away, that they're able to do that. 
It's also a really good time for reflection because I know, speaking for myself, it's easy to get carried away with tools and before you know you've got 20 different tools and you're only using three of them. So clean house, clean them down, cancel them out, save a little money and make sure that somebody can pick it up off you when you're done. Now finally, and it's strange times and I'm not here to scare anyone, but I think we all know it. I want you to make sure you've got a will. I want you to make sure you've got power of attorney in place and hopefully you won't need it. You will live long and glorious lives and your company will thrive and we're all gonna look back at this in 10 years time and go, what the hell just happened? But it doesn't hurt to have them. Make sure that your will and your power of attorney accounts for your business as well as your home and your family. If you're in a company that has multiple primary shareholders or you have multiple founders, have the talk now. What if one of us gets sick? What if one of us needs to go look after a family member? And make sure that you aren't going to face this conversation for the first time under stressful conditions. This is a really somber video to make on a Monday morning. I'm sat in my garden. I've never made a video like this before. I could have done a blog post and I could have put a giphy on it and it could have been a glorious little information marketing piece, but I wanted to connect with you one-to-one -one today. I wanted you to know that you're not alone. There's a lot of us out there who are facing difficult times and trying to figure out how we keep our little business going even when we're having to face lots of challenges and decisions in our own world as well as the commercial world. So take this moment, have a look at the list of things I've recommended, not because the world is ending, but because we want to battle on and we want to be prepared. And kia kaha, be strong, be brave. Um, you've got lots of little business family around you and we're all rooting for you. And be there for your other co-founders, for other people running small businesses, because right now I'm pretty sure they probably want all the friends they can get.